My name is Matt Fitzgerald. Been with the city for 11 years. I'm the transportation superintendent in the street maintenance division. Day three, when it started getting real bad, we had guys that legitimately wanted to come to work. They wanted to be here and we needed them, but they couldn't. We ended up saying, hey, if, if you can come in, I'm gonna come get you. Um, I would pick them up in the morning, drop them off in the evening. It was the nighttime guys, I was taking them home. And I actually used to live in that neighborhood. Um, so I knew exactly where that house was just by looking, I could see the smoke. One of, the, one of the other guys in the truck actually pointed out the smoke and you can kind of tell when a fire's starting. Um, he said, man, that looks new. I said, guys, I hate to do this, but I think we need to swing in there and just make sure um, we pulled up and there's nobody outside. We could see the flames on the side of the house. I didn't even have to tell anybody. Uh, the guys all jumped out. It was about 6.45 in the morning. We were all huddled in our back master bedroom in the very far back of the house um, when we heard pounding on the front door. Two guys were banging and beating on the front door. Uh, myself and another guy went and kicked through the fence. Our smoke detectors were not even going off yet. Come to find out there was a fire in our garage. And the guy that was with me actually started throwing snow on the fire. The other guys were helping my kids, my animals get into a truck so that they weren't running around and they were all warm and safe. I just wanted to send a huge shout out to Matt and his guys, Ronnie, Greg, and Jonathan, had they not been driving by and seen what they saw and stopped, um, it, we would have lost everything.